Hello and welcome to today's online hangout. So today we're unpacking our eighth tool from the event toolkit to help you guide to help guide you through this current situation. So we'll just do a recap of the tools that we've already unpacked. We've looked at event purpose, assessing and reviewing, event strategy, implementation, engagement, communication, delivery, and today's tool, which is the eighth tool and the final tool from our toolkit, is what's next. And really, this is starting to look um, forward past your event, but um, particularly because your event really is just the first step, is how you can engage and tie back into your purpose following the event. Because what we don't want to do is turn all our focus onto just the, the planning and the running of the event and then forget about the legacy items that we can put in place after. So start to think about your event. Once again, tying back to the purpose, so if you're running a fundraising event um, and you're hoping to raise money on the night and you've got a captive audience, what can you do after the event that will continue to engage with this audience and potentially convert them to long-time supporters? If you've got a membership engagement um, conference or, or dinner or function, what can you do post the event that will continue to engage the members? So rather than us just focus solely on the event and when we get to the end of that we're stopping, let's broaden our planning and make sure it goes past the event with some key timelines and milestones in place. So just like you would have a project plan with items leading up to the event, make sure you include those things um, following the event. You know, starting with simple things like your thank you email out to everyone, perhaps a phone call or letter or some kind of um, acknowledgement to your sponsors a feedback survey, perhaps if it's appropriate for your event, um, call out, thank you call outs to your volunteers via social media. Um, so they're very much the things that you can do immediately after the event that you can start planning for now. But think long term after the event, the sort of strategies that you can put in place that maintains that engagement with your audience and obviously leads into next year's event or your next event, whenever that will be. So, as I said, your next step is really um, looking past the event itself and seeing what things you can put in place to ensure that engagement broadens. Refer once again back to that event purpose, understanding why you're running the event and what sort of things that you can roll out after. But really making sure that we don't just focus our, our planning on the event, but that we do broaden it past the event um, and as a long-term strategy. So I hope these have been useful. We've certainly, well, I've enjoyed um, sharing our event tools with you and opening up our event toolkit, particularly um, during this uncertain time at the moment when a lot of decisions have, that, have had to be made really quickly around events. And we'll certainly be with you every step of the way over the next few weeks, next few months, um, next six months, however long, um, as we go through this changing time in the event industry. It's certainly a time for disruption, but it certainly doesn't mean that events are going to stop running. Um, but we will just need to, um, I guess, pivot and change the way we look at events and factor in a lot more external factors that perhaps we wouldn't have previously in light of everything that's going on now. So I hope they're useful. If you've missed any of our um, event toolkit uh, daily hangouts, you can certainly find those on our social media channels. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, whether it's in one of our event huddles or reading one of our blogs or just sharing some of our information with you on social media. But don't forget, we're with you all the way. We're going to be by your side every step of the way as we guide you through this ever-changing time for the event industry. And I'm excited to see sort of what sort of innovation and, um, and different opportunities we can come out of it at the end. So take care and we'll see you again soon.